One day you're gonna grow up and see how things really are. I hope I never grow up at all. A crawler. K2. Mm. Crawler. It's her birthday! Good day, girl. She's looking nice. She's looking lovely. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have dinner to celebrate. We don't know. We've never been there. We have not. We don't know how it looks like. No. It might be a mini McDonald's. It might be a mega uh, something. It might just be in the middle. We'll, we'll send our reviews. Don't worry. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> we'll the fit first. You can't even see here. But... Oh. I've seen... You sometimes get the most interesting people. Is like dying right now so i'm gonna film this quick but today took a odd turn it took a very odd turn so i had my last class um in idea of africa and oh my god my heart's breaking i love that class but i have that same prof twice next semester so i can't complain too much i will see her again Afterwards, I was talking to friends in that class and they were like, oh, we have a potluck at our next lecture, which is also an African studies course. And I was like, oh, I have a paper to write, but I'm gonna stop by really quickly. Let's just say that that quickly was like two and a half hours. I just got home and I was supposed to get home two and a half hours ago. <laughs> so, you know, um, detours. But like, also I needed that. I needed to be there. And I didn't even realize until I was. So like, I was like an end of the year kind of wrap up and like it's a full year course, but they're switching lectures. So it was just so lovely to hear everyone talk about what they loved about the course and how like the professor has like personally impacted them. And like, it was just so gen like genuine. And like, also I feel like African studies as a department and as like a study is just so much more communal and like warm than any other discipline and i love it like i feel so at home in african studies and i just can't wait to pursue that path further but it was amazing talking with people in the class like i i cannot wait <laughs> like i'm gonna see some of them tomorrow because i'm going to another event apparently i told them i'll be there <laughs> um and now i have to kind of go but like i just like look forward to building my community even though i'm in my fourth year i feel like this has been my most like this has been my happiest semester even though it's been like my hardest um in terms of workload and like stress but like it's been my happiest and i feel like I have really just started building an amazing community here. Um, but yeah, like we had like food and like everyone talked and chatted and it just felt so comfortable. Like I absolutely loved it. So I don't know. I have an essay to right now and I feel pretty good. Like I just have serotonin like just coursing through me. So I'm going to go do that. But I just wanted to share what's kind of going on. Also, I 
put my hair up like this today and I think that this suits my face so much like I don't I don't know what do you guys think anyways I'm gonna go to work now but As the years go by, I realize that I don't want to stay the same. I want to reinvent. You don't have to tell me what to do. It's Saturday and as you saw I just spent like an hour reorganizing my room and like cleaning everything and I felt like that was just that was in order because my room has recently been reflecting the state of my mind and that's just chaos and a mess but I'm really trying to move away from that and get back to the orderly person that I am like I'm a very type A organized person and recently I have just not been feeling like myself just so much stuff and it's been very overwhelming and I just I needed something fresh so I organized my space again and now I'm sitting down to get on an assignment that I want to submit before I start studying for my exam that is in two days so that's kind of what's on my checklist today is assignment first and then I'm going to start revision short answer questions today and I'm going to work on my short answer revision tomorrow as well as essay question prep so I'm looking forward to it, but um, in the meantime, enjoy the study vibes that you're gonna get from this. And I hope you guys in your exam season is also going well. I've been talking to some of my friends and I know they have like five to who knows how many exams. I have two, but I have quite a bit of essays or I've had quite a bit of essays due. I've submitted three this week. Um, I have one due next week on a day I have an exam. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, and then two exams. So I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're holding up. Honestly, study TikTok is helping me through it. And um, most importantly, the word of God, because I'm really relying on those verses, especially about anxiety and just like, do not fear, like the Lord is with me, you know? So, whew, yeah. <laughs> study for my exam even though doing my assignment was like studying it was like studying for one small section of my entire exam so I need to get some more work done I think I'm gonna go to a cafe it's already dark outside it's like 5 30 and I know the libraries on campus are all closed same with the public library because it's a Saturday and they always close early on Saturdays kind of annoying but I get it like I want to go home too <laughs> Uh, anyways, I think I'm going to head to a cafe, yeah, probably a Starbucks or a second cup and see if I can get some seating and get some work done for two and a half, three hours, so. Mm -hmm. 